Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Very well. Thank you, teacher. And you? Very well as well. Suffering. Okay. We're suffering here from the los chorros things. So it's very difficult. But anyways. <laughs> it's saying the hell. Oh, los yeah. Chorros. <laughs> it's been difficult this day. I don't know what's going on. But a lot of crashes, a lot of things. I don't know. Anyways, the good thing is that we are able to get home, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, yesterday we were doing an activity, as you might remember. So we were discussing three questions, and you had the time to discuss about the questions. So uh, who wants to be the next one? So I can listen to you. I don't know if, if everybody's going to speak from the same group or uh, if you're going to choose one person. So I don't know if, uh, is there a group that wants to be the first one tonight? Yeah, we have, for example, the group of Blanca, Jonathan Figueroa and Victor Eduardo. Uh, is there anybody here? Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. We're going to listen to you then. Nice. Hi, hi. Sorry. Uh, can you repeat it? Uh, yes. Yesterday we were doing an activity uh, and uh, there were a few groups that we're not able to, to do the activity, to finish the activity. So I was wondering if we can continue with the activity. Is to answer three questions uh, that were from the book and you had the time to discuss about that one. And now we can continue with that so we can finish and you have the time to participate. So the first group that I have here that is pending is Blanca Tanaka, Jonathan Figueroa and uh, Victor Eduardo. Yes, uh, I remember the exercise. Okay, so could you please share with us? Uh, yes, I can. It's just I don't have the book right now to read the question. Is it in worry. the group? No. Uh, yeah, it was about uh, the product cycle, how the... Um, saturation. Satur yeah, market saturation could affect and a strategy so you can avoid this kind of situation. So it was something like that. And you if you if you want, if you are agree, uh, let, me, uh, let me a minute, uh, go ahead with the next group and I will do it. Uh, in a minute, just let okay. me read the question again. Uh, definitely, not a problem. So the next one was Ana Hernandez, Jennifer Amaya, and Juan Roberto. So are you able to participate right now? Good evening, class. Hello, good evening. Mm. It was uh, soft soups, and we are looking for differentiation with our product. And we will relaunch uh, to display in supermarket and convenience store um, offering uh, accommodate price. And we hope that product will be received by customer. Okay. So you will re relaunch the product, let's say. Yes, mister. Okay, very good. Uh, what about the rest of the situation? Or, or that is the only thing that you have by now? Okay, it seems that only was that. the... Okay, perfect. No problem. Thank you. And the next one was Carla Alejandra and Roberto Carlos. Uh, 
Um, so it's the first move, I guess. Okay, and the last group, it was Maria Julia Ramos and Oscar Rene Molina. In aluminum. Hello. Hello. In aluminum, please, Ceci. Oscar, no. No está Oscar. They are getting proposals, everybody, at this time, right? Because yeah, yeah. it's time of the dinner. <laughs> and by any time, do you remember anything that you discussed? In a group? Yeah, yeah, I remember that was in a group, so. Yes, It's a, 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 in, in our case, it's a choice, a example, and little pizza versus pizza hut. You can see so. what. Ah, what very effect, good. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what effect does market saturation have on product pricing quality? Which is, 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 is among the my consequence derived the, the from market saturation are the disappearance of the less competitive companies decrease productivity poorly developed process or the inability to adapt uh, to the product to customer demand is a uh, number two is a uh, what strategy are competitive companies applying to deal to deal with saturation uh, uh, the company has several options uh, including introducing new products uh, improve improvement creative expiration date product or increasing overall cost to demand um creative effective pricing and new marketing strategic help company friend of market saturation uh, in number three is a uh, what other strategic would you recommend uh, the company could you look for niche and customer segment to focus their product on for example, is a for example in Lourdes Colón is a little pizza versus pizza hut. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, uh, little pizza sells a gigant pizza for five dollars that that attack a lot of people. Is a eighteen pizza for five dollars is a uh, 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 make a careful price review that adapt to the business model always always be innovation which which will uh, allow you to implement effective strategy such a a promotion for for days or or a specific or to attack customers. Uh, for example, in a specific uh, little pizza for the purchase of each 10 pizzas is a uh, pizza is giving a wine, for example, is yes, etc. Okay. Okay, very good, perfect. Interesting, very nice the uh, okay. the ideas that you have. Right now. Perfect. Yeah. So let's go back to the first group that was Jonathan and Victor Eduardo, I guess. I am Blanca. I don't know if you're ready or if you are not ready, of course, we can move on. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I try to find the, the question, but I don't take 
and a screenshot, but I remember that I did the uh, activity with Victor Reyes, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, Victor Reyes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so we discuss about uh, which uh, products are um, are. Uh, what is the the word? Um, making saturation uh, in the market. Mm -hmm. So we talk about uh, cars, uh, uh, companies that are uh, that are importing uh, cars to to sell, and we talk about a uh, sh shop. Uh, Shopping, uh, some clothes stores and uh, like shopping center, uh, like Imperio mm -hmm. Usa. Uh, we think uh, that those are companies that is that is causing saturation. And the next one, maybe Victor can help me. Uh, I think that we talk about. Uh, what is the impact or the effect of saturation in the products? Well, for me, it's a, a heavy problem in that in this country is uh, the sales, uh, a lot of cars, uh, imports, a lot of cars. And what, for me, it's a heavy problem to for uh, so asking much traffic, a lot of traffic. Uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, we need a, a regu regulation. Uh, we need a more. Uh, mm, more specific regulation for import cars, because uh, uh, I feel I feel is too too soft. The government is too soft for uh, import cars. Con la gente que importa los carros. Yeah. Uh, uh, I I think uh, we need a a. a uh, laws, laws, leyes, uh, more, more, um, uh, more specifics. Uh, I, I, I feel that uh, see if if. We a lot of people import cars uh, with a uh, heavy uh, uh, choques, muchos choques, uh, con golpes grandes. Acá se vuelve un problema, uh, y eso genera que. Um, Todo el mundo puede accesar a un carro y eso hace que sea un, eh, bueno el problema más fuerte acá. Eh, I think eh, bueno lo diré en español. Creo que deberíamos de tener mayor este, control sobre eso. Eh, ahorita no recuerdo bien las preguntas y no me carga el teléfono. No problem. Okay. Yeah, but it's interesting, right? It's very good. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, uh, yes, uh, you, what you say is actually true. I mean, there are a lot of cars. Maybe one of the things that doesn't happen here is that uh, I remember that the, in, in the law it says that you cannot transit in El Salvador with a car that is older than 20 or 30 years. I don't remember. But they don't do that one. There are cars of the 70s there, right? Bad conditions. And, uh, that causes a lot. Um, 
I don't know what's going to happen in the future of our traffic, but it's something that we can discuss in the future. And yes, there, is, uh, there are lots of products that they have a market saturation. Uh, and uh, I believe every company has to have a different strategy, right? Because if you want your product to continue to people to buy your product, I mean, you uh, definitely need to do something about it. All right, we're gonna check the attendance. So Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Oh, we can't hear you, but I see that you're here. Yeah, something's going on with the audio because we cannot hear you. Okay. Uh, Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. I'm here. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here, coach. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher and nice t-shirt. Ah, perfect. Thank you. You know, this is... This is from, I don't know if you can see that, but it's from Arjan Robin for the final against Spain. <laughs> I really good. love it. Well, thank you. Uh, Ingrid Paola Hernandez Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good evening for all. Good evening. Sandra Janira Gomez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Mendez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Oh, okay. So we're going to continue with the book so we can move on. Hey, remember for tomorrow we have homework, right? You are going to come and speak about a product, something that is a very good product in your opinion, right? Uh, remember that it's possible to speak about products that exist and you use or products that you believe are going to be good in the future or you wish that could exist. For example, I really would like to see, you know, I really would like to see a, a TV in holographic thing, a hologram in TV. Oh, that would be amazing. That doesn't exist. I don't know if, if in the future it's going to exist, but in mind a, a cube that presents something and everybody from different angles can see different points of view. That would be fantastic. I, I will, I will know. And another thing that I really would like is something to kill mosquitoes definitely because i mean that is a big problem anyways <laughs> okay so let's check about the book as we say and maybe before that one we're going to check about the platform as well so we see where are we okay so this is the platform this is the class of tonight and remember that for tonight, we have to finish the homework 1.7, okay? So you just click on the correct option, send it, 
and that's it. Remember that if something is not correct, you can send that again. All right. Good. Let me then just show you about book. Teacher. Yes. I don't know, but this platform, uh, the one video, in my case, uh, don't don't load, don't charge. Mm, which one? Which video? The, the, the first the first video in the platforms, the uh, in English. This this platform, I I I I have a problem. Mm, that's I don't know. Let me just show. You. Uh, I'm. I'm here. Yes, uh, me too, teacher. But it's a uh, and. Uh... Yeah, this is the first video. Uh, yes. just open that one, and here is like loading. No importa. And this, como sea. And the second como, video. Excuse me, teacher. You can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Let me check about the second. Is in the second video have a a problem uh, with uh, uh no, no no se reproduce bien se se intro, eh, después de una hora está se queda trabado también. Mm, okay. They can help make you a more effective brand in your niche and niche and industry. Here I am in one hour twenty five minutes. Classify it and also. <laughs> uh, what is what is the best dish that you can cook? Uh, I'm not saying that. Mm, I guess probably something is going on. Here you can see that uh, it's, it's running, right? It's running the video, but that happens sometimes. Sometimes the platform uh, doesn't show that. You can watch the videos also directly in YouTube. If you want, I can send you the link so you can watch them there. Um, and yes, I mean, sometimes that happens. Sometimes, uh, depending on the configuration and many other things. Uh, here on my side, as you can see, it's, it's running properly. I don't know. But but I know that technology sometimes is like that. Sometimes, depending on many things, uh, causes some problem. Okay. What is this? Teacher. Juan Roberto Velasquez Romero. Okay, so yeah, probably something's going on, but uh, you can see there that the video exists and it's, it's running properly. And uh, I want to ask you about the homeworks. Everybody's doing the homeworks, right? Tonight is 1.7. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's go to the book. Yeah, if you have questions, of course, you can uh, tell me. It's going to be good for us to check into that. So uh, we are still on unit number one, the product life cycle. And it says, I will be able to identify reasons for uh, the decline of a product. Suggest strategies for the business to deal with the decline of a product. And in the number one, it says, will you agree? that your company has fierce competitors. We checked that already. No, we haven't. But it's the first. Let's come down from... Yeah, it's the same question. We're not going to check into that one. Now, let's go directly to that, to the conversation, because the first part is kind of the same. OK, so I'm going to tell you, and then you are going to ask about pronunciation questions. And then uh, we are going to practice in couples, and then we're going to check vocabulary if there are any words. So it says, did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember you put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortricas will succeed with a little luck, I guess I was wrong. Okay, so do you have any pronunciation questions? 
For me, no teacher. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, it's a short a conversation. So let's give it a shot. Uh, let's start with Ramiro uh, and Silvia Patricia. Okay, I am Oscar. Okay. Have you heard the sales of the green tortillas have declined? I did, and I can't believe we were many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the this, uh, in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortricas would success with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So let's continue with Ernesto Andrade and René Calidoni. Okay. Um, if you want. Rene, I, I, Oscar, I am Oscar. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah you are Oscar, right? <laughs> okay. And did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and can't believe it. it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought the great tortilla would, would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Okay. okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Roberto Carlos and Maria Julia. Okay. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I didn't. I and can I can't believe it. We work at many hours to introduce into the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I took green tortricas, good success with a little look. I guess I was wrong. Perfect, thank you very much. So next one is Oseas and uh, uh, let's see, Blanca Tunaka. Okay, I start. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did. And I can't believe it. Uh, we worked many hours to introduce into the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I throw green, green tortricas to success with a little luck. I, I wish I was wrong. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So next one is Victor, Eduardo, and uh, Juan Roberto. Sorry. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did it, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of, uh, of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortricas will succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Very good, perfect. Uh, let's see, Carla Castillo and Aida Isabel. Uh, Aida, I don't know if you still have problems with the microphone. Can you listen to me? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to be Oscar if you want or Sonia. Okay, Oscar. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? Hello. I guess there was a problem because I can see her. Oh, it was Carla, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't see her anymore. 
I start. Hello. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I did. I so, can believe sorry. we work for many hours to I introduce have the market. Confused. I... Yes, I guess this was a confuse. <laughs> I am sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. You can you can go to Okay. Okay, yes, did you this... hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I do. I can believe. We were working many hours to introduce either the market. I town green tortillas well so so that why a little I I was wrong. Okay, very good, perfect. It seems that there was a, a connection problem. Sometimes it happens. It seems that it's going to rain or maybe it's raining in some part, so not a problem. Okay, now uh, Carla Alejandra. And let me check who has it there. Monica Avalos, is possible for you, Monica? Yes. Okay, please go ahead. Uh, did you hear the sale of that interview because it has declined? Okay, Carla says that it has a problem to, to hear. Uh, Jonathan, could you please read the second part? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, go ahead. It seems there are some problems. Go here. Go okay. Here. Can you hear us? Okay. No problem. So it's going to be. Uh, I'm here. It's going to be with Jennifer. Jennifer, is it possible for you? Uh, not possible. Okay, Mauricio Rivera, is it possible for you? Not possible. Go Eric, ahead. Eric Reyes. Go ahead. Sure. Okay, the uh, second part. Is... I did, uh, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of support in the design. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, although, although green tortricas would succeed with a little look, I guess I was wrong. Okay, very good. Is there anybody missing? Hasn't done the conversation. I guess everybody did, right? The ones that were possible to. Okay, so let's check. Uh, let's see pronunciation. Did you hear? Remember that this is here. Decline. We worked. This is like a T sound. We worked. Effort. And the rest, I guess it was good. Let's check some vocabulary. Um, what is effort? Personal. Very good. That is it. Like the effort that we have to be in the classes right now, very late and after work. It's difficult, I know. I have a you uh, because uh, the use of the behavior 
the use of the behavior you say behavior yeah okay when we use uh, behavior or the significator uh, behavior in general is like comportamiento so whenever you want to say that one that is behavior okay design let's see a little luck what is a little luck that is it very good and the last part it says i guess i was wrong what it says there perfect that is it so uh it's a very short conversation but i don't know if you have any questions any other questions here no it's okay very good perfect okay teacher nice so according to the conversations you are going to do the exercise three and four okay it says discuss the answer to the questions based on the information from the conversation uh, and there are two questions in the first part in what stage of its life cycle is green totricas at the moment at the moment of the conversation number two it says in what stage of the green totricas life cycle did sonia invest a lot of effort and in the number four it says complete the statements then compare your answers with the part we worked and uh, the blank is going to be according to the conversation okay so i'm going to give you some minutes for you to do the exercise okay okay teacher nice
Okay, so let's check, my friends. Uh, in the exercise number three, it says discuss the answers to the questions based on the information from the conversation. So number one, it says in what stage of its life cycle is green tortricas at the moment? What do you think? In the declining stage. Declining stage, pretty good, because they are withdrawing the product, right? Yeah, well, they are thinking of withdrawing. Very good. And number two, it says, in what stage of the green tortricas life cycle did Sonia invest a lot of effort? Yes, this is, teacher, the, the answer is possible. It's in the design of the marketing strategy. Okay, yeah, it's in the design at the beginning, right? the launching of the product. Okay, sometimes that happens, right? Uh, there is a unit where we speak about entrepreneurship and how to run a business, and it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, in El Salvador, it's very nice because people, they say, let's put a pupuseria, right? And, and that's it. But to be successful, that is a different story, right? Because, yes, I mean, maybe you have an idea, but the idea is not enough. You need to research. You need to invest time and money, marketing, a lot of things. So it's, it's not easy, it's not easy to, to continue and be successful, right? Good. So on the other part it says, um, we worked, uh -huh. what is the answer there? Many, yeah, we, we worked many hours to introduce into the market. Good, that is it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Number two, how is it going to be? A lot of effort. That is a lot of effort. So you put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. Okay. Number three, how is it going to be? A little look. A little luck. I thought the product will succeed with a little luck. Nice, perfect. Do you have any questions so far? No teacher, for me no, it's okay. Very good, perfect. All right, so let's go to the grammar. I know that you like grammar, so let's see. Eric uh, Reyes, could you please help me reading the number five, the chart? Okay, okay. Uh, look at examples in the books. Then complete the exercise below. Expressions of quant quantity used with non count nouns. A little, a lot of, some, sometime, much, a great deal of, plenty. Plan it up? No. An expression of quantity used with count nouns. A few, a lot of, some, hours, uh, many, plenty of, and no. And are effort, look, and time countable noun? or nouns count, nouns. Use the expression above to quantify non count nouns. And is ours a countable noun or a non count noun? Use the expression above to quantify countable nouns. Very good, perfect. Okay, so... Uh... For us to check into this one, we are going to uh, remember a little bit about count and non-count nouns, countable and uncountable. Do you remember what is the difference between countable and non-countable nouns? Yes. Uh, for example, uh, uh, water, you can't uh, count the water. 
maybe a bottle, but the water you can't count. Very good, that is it, right? It's, it's very simple. A countable num is the ones that you put, you can put a number next to it. So if I can say, for example, six cars is a countable num. Uh, six tables, six streets, any anything that you can put a number into that one next to it is going to be a countable noun. And if you cannot, like when you say water, I mean, with water, you can say uh, five waters, right? That is not possible. So that is very important here to remember what is a countable or non-countable noun. So let's review that one. I will tell you some nouns and you are going to tell me countable or uncountable, okay? So, for example, computer. Countable. It's countable. 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 Right? Countable or not countable? Uh, I'm sorry, which one? Rain. 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 Aha. What people say rain is countable or not countable? Not countable. Non countable. Non countable. Non countable. Very good. Uh, what else? Let's think. Book. Countable. 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 Uh, chicken. A chicken. Contable. Contable. Ah. The goal, the goal of the vector, or uncountable? I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. It's okay. one zero. Uh, I didn't know that one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Brian, Brian. No way. Yeah. Yes, teacher. I don't believe the, anymore. The sad moment of the class. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I mean, you know, soccer here is very important and we are really passionate, but the selector is, is not good, right? So, anyways, <laughs> so um, chicken, let's go back to chicken. Chicken, it depends. If you're speaking about the animal, it's countable. If you're speaking about food, it's not countable. So, food, no. Yeah, food, no. You can say I'm eating a lot of a piece of chicken, but not uh, countable in that part. But if you're talking about the animal, yes, it's, it's countable. Right? You can say three chickens are running in the yard, anything like that. Okay, the let's... Rain, the I'm rain sorry? of cotton. Rain, rain beans, for example. Yeah, very good. So that is, that is true. For example, rice, right? Rice, rice. I mean, it's possible to count the rice. But you, you don't go to a restaurant and say, give me 1,652 rice. <laughs> no, right. Uh, so. A cup of rice. Yeah, a cup of rice, uh, uh, I don't know, a dish of rice, a companion of rice, something that is a quantifier. And that is the topic of today. The quantifier is to quantify something in one word. So you don't have exact the number, but you have an idea about how much or how many are of something. So that happens a lot. For example, money is countable or non-countable? Yes, it's countable. It's countable. Well, actually, no, that is non-countable. Non-countable. Yeah. Non-countable. You can, you can count dollars. Exactly. So you, you cannot say, give me five monies, right? It's not possible. So money, the word money is not countable. But sometimes when we say, do you have money? You say, yes, I have five dollars, right? That's the confusion. Okay. okay. So uh, speaking about quantifiers, as I was telling you, uh, we use uh, those expressions to quantify countable or non-countable. So for example, a little, this is just only for non-countable, okay? So it's going to be a little time, a little water, a little milk, a little time. Like this. If you can see on the other side, we can use instead of a little, you can use a few. A few is two, three, five. It's like a little, it's the equivalent. Okay. So for non-countable, a little. For countable, a few. This is a, a poquito. Uh, yeah, some like that. Unos cuantos, unos pocos. So, some like that. A lot of 
that is possible with both countable or non countable. So no problem. You can just use a lot of uh, on any way that you may want. The same happens with some. With some, it can be countable or non countable. Okay. With this one, yes, we have difference. I know that you know much for non countable and many for countable. So I know that you know. We have a great deal of, so it's like a big quantity. Uh, we have that for non-count, but we don't have an equivalent for that in count. Plenty of, what is plenty of? Uh, this is like when we say uh, abundantes, varios, okay? Something like that. So you can say plenty of rooms or plenty of water because it's possible with countable and non-countable. And uh, this one is very common in English. No, I have no time. I have no water. I have no money. So that is possible to be used with countable and non-countable. So Maybe the most uh, important is the ones that you can have difference, right? Like a little and a few, like much and many. There are other ones, like for example, uh, a little bit, right? A little bit is possible with countable and non countable. Um, a few, what else? Well, there are some of them that we will be checking out. Okay, do you have any questions on the grammar? No, for, for me, not teacher. What is the meaning of plenty of? Plenty of. Ah, okay. Abundantes. Varios. Un montón. Yeah, you know, that, that word is, is very popular. For example, if you remember uh, that song, Hotel California, right? Welcome to Hotel California. I don't remember. It says, Plenty of rooms are here, something like that. There are plenty, something like that. They say, they use the word that way. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, any other question on this? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, why in the expression of quantity use a great deal of yeah, that is a common expression. A common expression, a great deal of, is like when you say, um, like many, a little bit more than much, but this is just for non count So in Spanish, we don't have a, an expression for that. Um, but it's possible to use that one in English. It's not that common, but yeah, we could use it. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now we are going to practice. So let's do exercise number six. Identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statements below. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to do the exercise and then we're going to check the exercise and also vocabulary and pronunciation. Okay, I will give you a few minutes.
Very good. So let's check. Uh, who wants to read the first one and then tell me if it's correct or if it's incorrect? Okay, Ramiro, go ahead, please. <clears throat> Number one, Dana projected the new product with no attractive medical treatment. Very good. That is incorrect. So Dana projected the new product will not attract many customers. That is an error and it's not much because it's a count. Okay. Um, I don't see any word here. Number two, who wants to read number two? It's necessary, it's necessary to realize some of the components of the marketing strategy. Very good, that is correct, right? It is necessary to revise some of the components on, of the marketing strategy. So some is uh, countable or non-countable. Uh, so components, is that countable or non-countable? It's countable. It's, it's countable. countable. Very good. Because it's actually it's in plural, there's components. Okay. Very good. Number three. Who wants to read number three? Me, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Before sales decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal of modifications. Okay. Everybody agrees on this one? A great deal of modifications. Yes. Yes. Well, actually, uh, let's analyze modifications. Is that countable or non-countable? Countable, teacher? That is countable. No, no. It's countable. Modifications is countable because you can say six modifications mm -hmm. and plenty of deal, uh, a great deal of is all only for non contact So in this case, it's not correct. Because as you can see here in this chart, a great deal of is for non contable only. So we need to change this. It's not possible to use a great deal of. It has to be any other, for example. Plenty uh, of. Plenty of, yeah. Plenty of modifications might be good. It's clear, teacher. Perfect. Uh, let's see if we have any word. No, no, we don't have any. Number four, who wants to share number four? Okay, number four. Plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. Very good. Plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. This is easy because plenty of is for uh, countable or non-countable. So, but in this case, customers is countable or non-countable. I think it's countable. Very good. It's countable. Okay. Uh, who wants to read the next one? Number five. I tried. A little competitors have established low price for products similar to ours. Okay, a lady competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. What do you think? Is that correct? It's incorrect. It's incorrect, okay? Because a little is for non-countables. And competitors is countable or non-countable? It's countable. So instead a of a little, it's uh -huh, a few. A few. A few. So this has to be a few competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. Very good. Uh, established. What is established? Anybody? Established. Established. Very good. And when we say low prices, Low prices, 
bajos precios. Bajos precios, son los productos similares a nosotros. Very good. Very nice. All right. Uh, who wants to check number six? Supermarkets have placed many orders of green tortillas this week. Very good. Supermarkets have placed many orders of green tortillas this week. And that is correct, right? Because uh, orders, that is countable. And many is for countable. Nice, perfect. So as you can see, it's very important to pay attention. Is this a countable or a non-countable? To use the proper quantifier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any questions in this exercise? No, for yeah. me, yes, not teacher. So, so. Go ahead, Ramit. In the number two, mm -hmm. it's it necessary to revise some of the components of the marketing <clears throat> strategies is uh, correct some of or not? Uh, some, yeah, that is correct. Yeah. <clears throat> some of is correct. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so let's go. Go ahead. Uh, we need to memorize uh, if the word is uh, non countable or non countable, uh, the word before. For example, yeah. uh, a much, a many, a, a little, and I don't know, but for me, it's, it's, it's better to memorize and to analyze uh, this case, each case. That is true. That is true. So uh, I believe that uh, in English, there are like two main steps. The first one is to uh to learn right and sometimes you need to learn by heart to memorize and then you need to practice practice is very important this is very similar as do you remember when you were learning to drive right the very first times i mean if i teach you uh, i spend only five minutes explaining right this is the wheel this is the brake this is the gas and that's it right go right go left but to practice uh -huh. Thank you. To practice is different, right? It's little by little. And when you are learning to drive, you are always thinking, right? I have to put the, the signal. I have to look the other ways. Is this a stop or is this not a stop? But then is uh, you drive without thinking. You drive in a normal way. No, in a natural way. The same happens with English. In English, first of all, you need to analyze, right? Then you need to practice and you pay attention to that one. I have to do this. I have to check this time. But then you just speak. You don't analyze anymore. Uh, sometimes some other classes, they ask me uh, recommendations, recommendations for you to improve your English. There are many. One is the most important. There are many. I will tell you about the other ones, and then I will tell you the one that is the most important. So in many, we can watch videos. We can listen to music. We can read. Uh, there are many things that you can do. But the most important thing that you have to do to really learn English is to stop thinking in Spanish. You need to think in English all the time. Okay. So in the morning you wake up and I believe that you say, that in English all the time. You wake up and you switch to English. Oh, I have to send a report. I have to go early. Uh, I hope I can have something to eat. And sometimes you are going to find words that you don't know. So you go look for the words and tomorrow you wake up and learn in, and think in English and the word is going to be there and you are going to start using the word. And then suddenly you speak English. That is it. So that is the most important thing. You can watch videos a lot, but if you don't think in English, you will never go to, to the bilingual. So this is what happens when, I mean, imagine that, imagine that I 
I, I, I tell you tomorrow you are going to go to, I don't know, to uh, Mississippi and you are going to live there and nobody speaks Spanish there. What do you do? You are forced to think in English. And that's why when you go to other countries, you learn very fast. Here is difficult because you always think in Spanish. You translate and you don't practice with other people. So you need to practice with yourself in your mind. That is the most successful exercise. If you do that one, you are going to learn English. And I'm telling you that by experience. I have a son, he's 17 years old. And I try to teach him English like this, like class. This is this and this is this other thing. And he was like, oh, I hate these classes. I don't, I don't like these classes. And now you say, okay, I'm going to stop that one. But he really loves video games. And one day he came, he came to me, he said, uh, you know that I, I, I want this. And I say, how much is that one? And he said, it's $100. And then I say, okay, let's do something. If you speak in, in English all the day, I will give you $2 every day. But if you say one word in Spanish, you are not going to get that. Suddenly he was speaking in English. I mean, he was asking me questions, right? How do you say that? How do you say that? But he was, he was so into English that sometimes somebody knocked on the door and he was speaking in English. Hey, I don't want this because and he forgot. He forgot about the Spanish. So that is the best practice that you can. Very good. Uh, ah, go ahead. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you for, for that. So, so for, for, your, for your advice. <laughs> Yeah, if you do that one, you are going to. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are here in El Salvador. You are going to. A commentary about. I'm sorry? A commentary about. Tell me. And is, uh, I think that the problem um, sometimes is we talk in English, but thinking in Spanish. And not is uh, the same thing. Is it is made difficult to learn to the language yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that is true. Think how it is connected. Uh, I think that. Yeah, definitely. That what you say is that true. I mean, for example, you know, uh, when you speak with somebody, uh, there are certain things that you think ah, this person is from, from Latin America. For example, when you say, uh, I am agree, that is a very common error. Because in Spanish, we say, yo estoy de acuerdo. But in English, we don't use the verb to be. We just say, yeah, I, I agree. agree. Okay, it's, but that, that happens because you translate from Spanish to English. But that is not good, right? Other common uh, error is I have 14 years old, for example. Because in Spanish, we say yo tengo 14 años. But in English, it's I am 14 years old. So that is the thing. You need to think in English and you need to remember that it's a different language that you don't have to translate. Okay. Sometimes, for example, if you, if I tell you, uh, translate, ella se fue into English is she went. El se no existe. No se puede traducir porque no existe. So those little things are the little aspects that we need to analyze. And if we do that one, we are going to learn English. Okay? It's very important that part. Because sometimes when we speak with a person that doesn't speak Spanish, if you don't speak English very well, they don't understand. They say, what? Right? So when you go to New York, remember that one, okay? So let's continue, my friends. This is exercise number seven, building vocabulary, okay? It says there are various causes that generate the decline of product. 
match the causes below to their corresponding definitions. Compare your answers with the part. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to read on the right and match on the left. What is the solution? Okay. Nice teacher.
Okay. Did you finish already or do you need more time? Okay. So uh, who wants to read the first one? Uh, you are going to read this part, okay? And then you are going to tell me what which of these ones uh, on the orange is the answer for this, okay? So who wants to read the first one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. The presence of innovate, innovative products or services cause customers to change their tastes and preference. And what is the answer for that one, my friends? Uh, for me, it's three. Changes in customer preference. Yes. Okay, everybody agrees on that one? I agree. I agree, of teacher. Course. Yeah. Very well. Uh, so the presence of innovative uh, products or services causes customers to change their tastes. Uh, pronunciation, whenever you have a word that ends with E and then is like a plural or uh, the third person combination, uh, the E, you don't have to say tastes. Okay. So what is tastes? Anybody remembers? Very well. Very good. To taste is to to provide something, right? like try. Okay, who wants to read the second one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, a significant decline in the competitiveness or value of the product, usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. And what is the answer for that one? No, for me, teacher, is number one, obsolescence. Obsolescence. Everybody agrees on that? Yes. Very yes. good. That is obsolescence. And one it says... For the exam, teacher. Of course. <laughs> so it says a significant decline in the competitiveness or value of the product usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. Definitely, there is absence, right? Uh, what is competitiveness? Competitiveness. Competitive. Very good, that's it. And what is cheaper? Barato. Yeah. That is the comparative of barato, right? Very good, and what is available? Disponible. Very good, perfect. Okay, who wants to read the next one? Right. I wanna. Okay, Roberto this one and Juan Roberto the other one. Let's go. Okay. International competitive uh, companies may offer better products at cheaper price and with better distribution, which may, may cause the decline of the locally manufactured product. Okay, so, and what is the answer for this one? For me, is the global competition. Global competition, everybody agrees on this? I agree with you. Very good, global competition. And it says international competing companies may offer better products at cheaper prices and with better distribution which might cause the decline of local, locally manufactured products. Very good. Uh, let me see if there is any other word here to go there. No, I don't think. Okay. Who, uh, well, Juan is going to read the, the last one, right? A reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or a service. Good. What is the answer for that one? Mm, I think that is number two. A demand downturn. Uh, everybody agrees on that one? The teacher, I agree. Good. So that will be it, okay? Uh, demand downturn. It says a reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. A question for you, why in this word, the apostrophe is after the S? and not before the S.
Because that explains the interest of the customers. That is a possessive, very good. But sometimes, I don't know if I can see something here, but sometimes the, the apostrophe is before the S. So we can say customers with the apostrophe before the S, and we can say customers with the apostrophe after the S. So the question is why here the apostrophe is after the letter S. Do you remember that? Be because customer is in plural. Very good. That is the answer. Okay. If I say customers and the apostrophe is before the S, is singular, one customer. But if the apostrophe is after the letter S, that is customers in plural. And the S of the possession is included in the plural. Very good, very nice. Okay, let's move on. Okay, it says building vocabulary. The following are strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. And it says low prices, repackaging, discontinuation, innovation, and co-branding. Okay, so what is well, explain what is lower prices regarding uh, the decline of a company or a product. Mm -hmm. Lower prices, what do you think it refers that to? So it says that these are strategies to handle the decline of uh, the decline stage of a product. So in mind that you have a product and it's the people are not buying that. Uh, go ahead. And different strategies for to help the company. Of course, those are the strategies. So yeah, lower prices is very simple, right? When you see that the people are not buying the product, I believe that we discussed that yesterday, you reduce the price, right? You say, okay, no more $10. You can get this in $7 or $5. So that is a strategy. So people say, oh, let's buy that one again. Repackaging. What is repackaging? Reempacar. Reempacar. That is it. Change the visual aspects of a product. So that sometimes is very important. How the people perceive? Maybe the product is good, but it's not attractive. Uh, so the first thing is that one. That has to be attractive, right? Uh, discontinuation. Do you remember what is that? Discontinuation. Obsolescence. Obsolescence. Nice. You remember the vocabulary. It's good. So yeah, sometimes you say we can do anymore, right? We are going to withdraw the the product. Not possible. The other one says innovation. What do you think innovation. is that? Innovation is the new product. Uh, new feature in, in the marketing in the market. Very good. Yeah, it could be to launch another product that is complementary or new features for the same product, right? So we are going to Some change. Modification a, a product Modification. is innovation. Exactly, to modify the product, right? So you have something yeah. and you add, add some, some other features, characteristics, things like that one. And the other one says co-branding. What do you think is co-branding? Mm. Marca comparativa. Mm, something like that, actually, yeah. Uh -huh. hey, go, go ahead. No, compartida. compartida something like that so when you have a product and the other remember that this is very good for example for whenever you have uh saturation of market okay and the other company also has problems to say uh, to, to sell the products so what you can do is to get together and with the two companies launch something together so that will be it Teacher, uh, uh, one example, 
can see uh, in Facebook and in WhatsApp. Is an example. Yeah, that Possible. is kind of uh, yeah, it's it's kind of similar. Yeah, because they are different companies, and then the owner of the one company they buy the other one, and they work together. Right, so it would yes. be some. Very good. Perfect. Uh, another company is, for example, a Mini Cooper. Uh, the motors is uh, using the BM BMW. Yeah, that is true. That is true. So that that happens. Yes. Uh, uh, había una marca. No me acuerdo. Ah, uh, Gio. Uh, the motors. Motors Toyota, Toyota, and it's a com, co, como se llama esto? Co, bar, co branding. Co -brand. co branding. Yeah. Co branding. Uh, the motors, motors Toyota and uh, cars is Geo Prince. Yeah, I remember the Geo, they, they were very nice, right? So, yeah. and yeah, you are right. The, the engine was a Toyota engine. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's for branding. For example, I think. No, actually, that is good. Very good. Perfect. Okay, uh, we have a reading, but we are not going to do the reading today. We're going to do the reading tomorrow and also the other part. That is the last part. Let's see. Yeah, that is the last part. Let me check if it's possible for us to see the video because there is a video here. Sometimes it's not possible. Ah, uh, yeah, it's possible. Okay, so we're going to watch a video and then you are going to tell me what did you understand of the video and opinions about that, okay? Here we go, let's see. The link of the video is there in the book if you want to watch it. The Marketing Mix. It's a combination of the four Ps, Product, price, promotion, and place. When we talk about product, we mean things like the quality of the product, the design, the packaging it's sold in, and the brand. Price not only refers to the retail price, but also any discounts. Do you accept payment plans? Are there any specific credit terms if the customer has to borrow money to buy your product? Promotion deals with any advertising. Personal selling, are there salespeople? Public relations, emails, anything that gets the word out. Place, do you have a retail location or a storefront? Do you deliver? Can the product be downloaded? Basically, all distribution methods. Let's say you want to sell hamburgers. Great, but first you need to know your target market. Who are you going to sell hamburgers to? Well, hello there. Your target market will affect your four Ps. In this case, you'll want a very high-end hamburger. Consider a product that features truffles, which are super expensive stinky mushrooms. Oh, that sounds delightful. You're going to have to charge a lot because your cost will be high. $25. A good promotion might be an advertisement in Fancy Pants Magazine. And a perfect place to sell the hamburger would be at the polo club. Okay, but what if we have a different target market? What about this guy? Peace, man. This marketing mix won't work for him. Consider a vegetarian burger. You won't be able to charge much. You may even have to loan him money. Thanks, dude. Including good karma fries will encourage him to spread the word and selling them in a public park would be a good idea. Okay, but what about this target market? Arr! Again, we should adapt the marketing mix. He spends a lot of time at sea, so waterproof packaging would be a good idea. He doesn't have any cash, but has plenty of goats on board. <laughs> Who doesn't love a free Viking helmet? Ooh. And you'll need to deliver. So there you have it. The four Ps make up the marketing mix. Product, price, promotion, and place. Distribution methods. 
Okay, what did you understand on the video? What did you get from that? Interesting video teacher about uh, the, sim the simple way to understand the marketing mix use uh, for, for P, product, price, promotion, and place. For example, the pro product in the, in the different features that uh, uh, in a specific product. Uh, the price for it depends for the target target uh, target market and the promotion different promotion about the the product the the the, the people do want uh, this in a specific product in the place uh, in a specific location delivery on the other strategy very good, perfect, thank yeah. you. That is a very good analysis about what we have checked. And yeah, sometimes, I mean, uh, as I was telling you before, right? In El Salvador, people, they say, let's put a pizzeria and that's it, right? But they don't analyze this. Uh, if they do this one, probably they, before they run their business, probably they will uh, do some things that are important, right? So um, that happens. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Yes, I think it's a very important customer type. Uh, all these, uh, all the follow uh, the different uh, uh, ones. Uh, the customer wants uh, is a, is a mandatory. That is true. I mean, you have to, if you really want the business or the product to be successful, you really need to check all these things, right? And uh, you saw the two examples. I mean, it was the, the, the same products, but two different markets. So you need to consider those. Any other comments or opinion? Okay, it's very interesting this part, right? I believe that it was very, very nice because, uh, I mean, sometimes we say we need to analyze product, price, promotion, place, but what is that? What includes that? So product, of course, the quality. Okay, if you are going to have a very high standard quality, of course, the price also is going to be a little bit higher, right? But that is what is expected. The packaging is very important. As we discussed before, it's actually it's one strategy when the product is in the decline stage, right? Uh, the visual aspect of the product is very important. So people are related to the product. The design of the product, definitely, and the brand. So people recognize that. Uh, regarding price, the retail price, I mean, what is my price and what is the price that I will give to other stores? Uh, am I going to give discounts if you buy three or four payment plans? I mean, if the products are very big or very expensive, uh, yeah, we have to think about this one or credit charge. And about promotion, right? advertising, you are going to use influencers, it's going to be TV, is this going to be radio, pamphlets, uh, public relations? I mean, for example, you know that when Coca-Cola, for example, appears in a movie, uh, they pay for that one. So it's an advertisement because a lot of people, they are going to watch that. Okay, uh, personal selling, definitely. What is the people that is going to be in charge of selling the product? They have to have some experience and skills of salesperson. And strategies like you know, in place, we discussed that before as well. Retail location, are we going to offer delivery, uh, downloads, or what kind of distribution am I going to so all those things are very, very important. Uh, sorry, for me and this and this strategy, um, the element more important that the the product the, uh, about the product is the quality and the price. Because this relationship that uh, made that the customer and uh, take a decision about to. Uh, shop the the product and 
now have in the social net, uh, McDonald have a promotion. Uh, $5.85 for a hamburger that before cost uh, $70. I think I remember so, and that the strategy is uh, very attractive because the people know the quality and the cost for the um, for the economy of the H one, and is is part of his uh, strategy. You are right. Uh, probably the most uh, the most common that people look when they are going to buy a product is that quality, uh, I mean, and price, right? If the quality is good and the price, the value, will, I remember that we discussed that one, it's not the same the price than the value of a product or service, right? So that is very, very, very good. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Yeah, for me, the, the brand uh, in a product is very, very important. Uh, I remember when when I, I want to buy shoes uh, and I, I, I went to the, uh, the, the place, for example, in, in Metro Centro, for example, and the shoes, uh, Adidas shoes, the price, is seven seventy dollars. Um, the the other brands, the low prices, for example, uh, Magico Gonzalez shoes, thirty dollars. But for me, I prefer uh, to buy uh, shoes low price uh, for my salary. Uh, in the in the other in the other aspect, but the brand is very very important. You are right. Uh, because I mean loyalty, right? Do you remember that we were discussing about loyalty? You know, you recognize the brand. You know that they have a standard, right? For example, uh, yeah, Adidas, as you say, uh, it has a standard. Maybe it's changing because I remember a, a years ago. I mean, you buy a shirt Adidas and it was made in Germany. Right? Now you buy an Adidas shirt and it's made in Bangladesh, right? Is the same quality? but they decrease the costs, right? Yes, so that happens. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect. Uh, do you have any questions regarding the class of tonight? Um, teacher, uh, the brands is, uh, is important for the dura durability for the, the price is compensed as the uh, I love the the bicycle for example is the bicycle uh, how much uh, triple como se dice how much triple uh, uh -huh. triple 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 uh, uh, my first bicycle is a uh, a low price is a uh, Second bicycle is an uh, intermediate. Yeah, the third uh, bicycle yeah is a uh, um is more is best quality. Don't broken. Don't broken the bicycle. Uh, the price only is 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 sold for the product is the quality. Obviously, uh, the price is sold. That that is it. The relation between quality and price is always there, right? You know, in theory, that if you buy something that is more expensive, the quality is going to be better. And actually, yes, you are right. Some things they last forever. So, for example, uh, I had a friend that he always buys car new cars, and he says that I mean never fails. For example, the radiator is always nice. He never had to put water on the radiator. But if you buy a car, a used car that comes from the U.S., for example, is cheaper, 
but you have to pay more sometimes. And sometimes, I mean, yeah, the quality is definitely not good. It's a different problem. Yeah, exactly. It's going to present different problems because we don't know what happens there in the US. For them, it's very easy to say, I'm going to change this because of the insurance. But yeah, here uh, we need to invest time and money on the insurance. Uh, and at the end, maybe we spend more money than buying our own. So. Okay, my friends, uh, remember to continue using the platform. Remember that we have a homework for tomorrow that is about presenting a product. And uh, tomorrow is Friday, so that is very good. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, okay, no. All right, so let's check the uh, attendance and then let's go to bed. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Ernesto Jose Andrade Medina. Here, coach. Okay. Present teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. And I see that you're here, but I can't hear you. Okay. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Gonzalez. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Here I am. Here. Good. Eh, Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Okay. Excuse me, present teacher. Nice, nice, gotcha. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Here. Good. Uh, Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay. Perfect, my friends. It was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Dress very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. See you. Take care, teacher. See you. See you. See you tomorrow. See you. Hello, Veronica, how are you?